In this video we're going to have a look at how we can set the focus to a specific widget within a graphical user interface. If you have not watched the previous video in the playlist, I recommend you do so before you watch the remainder of this video. This is the computer program we looked at in the last video and here you can see its runtime. At the moment none of the widgets on the graphical user interface actually have the focus. As the user of this graphical user interface I'm aware that I have to enter data into this entry widget. Now to achieve that I have to give this widget the focus which it clearly does not have at the moment. To give the entry widget the focus I need to move the mouse and place the cursor here click on it and now if you look you can see there is a flashing cursor here which means that this entry widget now has the focus. Having the focus means that the entry widget can have information, can have data entered into it via the keyboard. So I will now enter a temperature of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. As the user I would typically now click onto this button and the conversion will take place and the graphical user interface will display 100 degrees for the temperature in Celsius. But I'm not going to use the mouse, I'm going to use the keyboard. So I'm going to press the tab key on the keyboard and watch what happens. You'll see now a dotted line appears all around the text within the button. This means that the button now has the focus. I'll click on the tab key again on the keyboard and you can see that the entry widget now has the focus. I'll click on the tab again and you can see I now move the focus back to the convert button. Rather than click on the convert button, what I can now do is hit the spacebar. And when I hit the spacebar, it'll be as if I've clicked on the button using the mouse. But I'm not going to do that as I've just said, I'm going to hit the spacebar. And when I do, Let's see what happens. You can see the button went in and you can see here that 100 degrees Celsius appears as the temperature, which is what we would expect. When this program first executes, we get this graphical user interface displayed. Now we can clearly see that there is no focus on any of the widgets. This entry box, for example, has no focus. It would be sensible if when first run, that this entry box had the focus. Now we can achieve that by using an appropriate method. This is the program we've just been considering but the difference is I've included this additional line here and if you have a look at it, it is a message. It is a message to this widget and the message will invoke this method associated with this widget and the method will give the focus to the entry widget when we run the program. So let's have a look at the program when it first executes. Now here is the program, here's the graphical user interface and if you look you can see the flashing cursor here and that means that it's had the focus as soon as the graphical user interface comes into view. And it's got the focus because of this line of code here. Now, of course, I can enter 212 again. I can hit the tab key, go to the convert, press the space bar, and you can see 100 appears here. But the difference between the code as it is now and as it was before I entered this line is simply I did not have to move the mouse cursor into here and click on it to give it the focus this automatically gave it the focus when the application first run. Now you will have noticed for this video I haven't explained how any of this code actually functions and that's simply because I've covered this program in the previous two videos in the playlist. So if you're a little lost as to what this code actually does please refer back to the previous two videos in the playlist to clear up any misunderstanding. Here I was just showing the addition of this extra line and I was outlining the difference it gave and how we can control a graphical user interface using a keyboard, not a mouse, by ensuring that the focus moves to the appropriate widgets when the graphical user interface program is executing. The next video in the playlist is going to have a look at what we can refer to as the tab order. That is when you're controlling a graphical user interface using the keyboard 
and every time you press the tab key how can you make sure it goes to the next widget that you want it to go to in other words what's the sensible order for moving from one widget to another when you build the graphical user interface and how do you write the code to ensure that is the case check out the supporting website for these videos in addition why not follow me on twitter as i issue a tweet every time i upload a new video